This is an old Lakewood. I was born third in Lexington. I, I remember the, the, the hotel. My father had the Jefferson Hotel on third in Lexington. And I was born just in time. But, uh, by the time I was ready for, for, for school, the day school had been established, I think, the year before. That was the second year. And I'm very, very much indebted to, to, to Charles. Thank you so much. Oh, I, uh, I mean, is one of the four lead post halachic authorities in the yeshiva. So, Bitzal Goldstein, Reb Bitzal, was the key person that convinced my grandfather and brought him to Lakewood. And certainly, as we know the history, were he not here, my grandfather would not have come here. It's a simple equation. And who knows what would have been, how history would have looked. Who knows what would have, how, how things would have developed and where Clyde Stroll would be today. He was the instrumental figure. My grandfather came here for many reasons. It was out of New York City was first and foremost. He didn't want the guys distracted. He didn't want them running around the city. He wanted it a little bit self-contained. Um, but there were many places where he could have chosen to come to. And the fact that there was a Yid B'tzal Goldstein, who was a Talmud Chacham, who was a Ben Torah, who had studied in yeshivas, said to him, you are coming to Lakewood, was the key factor that brought him here and that helped, helped build this great Torah, Kehillah, this unprecedented Torah community. So what we saw today is all your schos. It's in your genes. It's in your blood. It's in, uh, you're, you're the same Yarshim, the same inheritors that we are in terms of having this great Malcolm Terry. And it's something that it's important that your kids know it, the little ones, and uh, that, that it carry along because it's a legacy that's uh, probably unprecedented in the history of Pali Israel to have such a great Malcolm Torah and such great schlesson for your family. That's uh, something you really have to appreciate. And I really want to thank Billy and Paul and, and Peggy, who uh, joined in this, to, uh, for, for having brought this really to my attention. I always knew it, but I always knew it kind of in the, as something that you take for granted. And having made it so vivid and alive is a, a mocker to, to Billy and Paul for having, having brought this to light and recreated something that's really very, very special. And as, as Bill said before, it, it was my uh, the, uh, very small recognition to want to have that plaque in the yeshiva and to want Talmidim, the students of the yeshiva, to know and they asked, how did Ravaran Cutler get here? He wasn't always here. How did he get her? There was a man who brought him here, and that was that was Ribasal Goldstein. And that that little knowledge, that little bit of history, is, is something really important. And we are makar tov to all of you, to the Goldstein family. We're makar tov to you for what your your parents, your ancestors did. And this was this is Lakewood. When you think of Lakewood, you hear the old Lakewood, new Lakewood. The old Lakewood is what built the new Lakewood, and this is the Lakewood that really did it. So we're we're very appreciative of that. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. I, I, I'd like to say a few words. So, boys and girls, uh, I, I, I guess I'm the only person here who knew Pizzolo well. He, I was 10 years old when he died, and I can still hear the, his voice in, in, my, in my head. And I, I remember um, being a little boy and uh, going to the house at 613 Madison. I always wondered about that as I got older, how he happened to live at 613 Madison. And, and in the semicircular room in the front, which is where all this forum were, uh, there was um, every Shabbos, he had the uh, visiting R R Rabbeim, and he, he was friends with uh, Aaron's grandfather. As a matter of fact, when I finally introduced Paul to Aaron, I said it gives me great pleasure to introduce Patsalo Goldstein to Rav Aaron Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> because before there was this Patsalo, there was this Patsalo. Um, uh, but, but anyhow, uh, I, I uh, you know, my Zaydi, our Zaydi taught me how to play chess, and, and I have his chess set. I, I remember one time when I must have been, I don't know, s seven or eight, uh, during the summer in Belmar, I must have had uh, some 
unpleasant uh, episode with my parents, and I was alone in the in my my room, which was uh, room three on the first uh, on the uh, first floor. If you guys remember where we used to have our rooms, and um, Zeta came up and and he had a long talk with me, and um, he he got through to me, and. Um, he was a very, very, very special, very special man. And, you know, it was not only Rav Cutler. I, I, I'm not sure who signed your parents' ketubah, but uh, Rav Moshe Feinstein signed uh, our parents' ketubah. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, you have great Rav Amy was friendly with everybody, the, the Taiches and Raymonds you probably knew, but also <coughs> Soloveitchiks and everybody used to come to the hotel. Uh, we were centrally located across the uh, from the beach, <laughs> and the food was good. So anyhow, I'm I am I am thrilled. The the Shabbos I I talked to Aaron uh, it, it, when he was out in Los Angeles. He was so open and so warm, and there was such a wonderful connection immediately. And that was followed up just a couple of months later uh, when I visited on Rosh Hashanah. I was I remember it was the first. Uh, First day Rosh Hashanah, I was walked and did Tashluk, and then we did Mincha and Zalman's, and this incredible event happened, the, the Chesbed that Zalman was reading when we walked in. So, anyhow, I'm I'm personally glad that you're all here. Yeah. I know we're all extremely proud of uh, Batsal's contribution to to changing the world, and his association with Rav Aaron Cutler and. Uh, and we we are a very small part in the very large part that is continued by this wonderful man and his and his brothers, who uh, I haven't met Malk here, but I have. When we were sitting shiva for mom, uh, Shragi was over every every morning, and uh, so uh, anyhow, I yield the floor to anybody else who has anything they'd like to. To say. I, I think it's fitting that, that your parents' home is now you know, part of the yeshiva's campus. And, and the right, that was something else that, that was, was so just, beautiful. It just came out of the blue. It was like, well, actually, it wasn't uh, that over Shabbos. Over Nish Shabbos. Nishkorek, uh, Nishkorek Nishkorek Shabbos. Shabbos. <laughs> right. A little business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already had floated the idea of uh, possibly they, the yeshiva would be interested in mom's house, and mom was interested in having some financial security in the last years of her life, and uh, this all happened, worked out with Paul and, and Aaron, and uh, we're really very, very <coughs> pleased and proud that uh, the home we grew up in is part of the yeshiva, uh, and it's such, uh, so poetic, really, very poetic. Maybe we could drink a little lachai in both of the memory of Bitsala, your parents. Well, I don't drink, and, but I'll and, drink to this. And, and to your gesund. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to so, all Argusons. It's always been mind-boggling to me how uh, a vision, a little vision and a little effort could just <coughs> balloon into, into what's happened in Lakewood. We heard stories as kids how Zeta started the first shul and used to take his horse and buggy once every so often to Asbury Park to bring back the first kosher food. And from nothing. Uh, and a little bit of vision and trying to build the Jewish community and a day school and look what came of it. It's just stunning. If you put your mind to something and don't let go, uh, what it can grow into. I can just say that the Cutler family, I mean, we do have this wonderful relationship from when we grew up, Sork and I, with Bacheva and Ita and Yehudas, so who was a little bit older than we were. She also had the long berets, so she had her signature, like Facheva did. And, um, and I do remember Shragi and Aaron coming to our house as little boys with Rip Schneer um, on Shabbos to share Kiddush with my father. Was he was very father. well behaved. And, and, <laughs> and, you know, and these, now it can be told. Very warm and special <laughs> memories that, you know, time can, 50 years can go by and there's no conversation and no um, communication, but, you know, the warmth and the bonds that, that were forged in those days and the memories are just so special and so valuable. And to culminate in this, thank you so much. You guys are great. Is, is there an Esther 
Esther is my yes. sister, sure. That's right, Esther. That's right. Esther, Esther, sure. It's my age, 50. Yes. Yeah. She was in my class. You'll have to drive now, Paul. This is okay. Thank you. I'm doing very well.